Dabo Sweeney, he's a firm believer in doing things his way. However, th- however he sees things or however he wants things to be done at Clemson, Clemson University, it's going to be done his way, and he's not changing. It doesn't matter, you know, how other coaches are doing doing things. He's always a firm believer in sticking true to what he believes in. And one thing he is not a fan of is, is the transfer portal in college football. He basically says that he will only use it as a last resort. So, like, if he tries everything in his power, he goes through step by step by step, and then there's no results, then he'll use a transfer portal. So, pretty much, he, he, he doesn't want to use it. He... Pretty much the likelihood of him of him using the transfer portal is not likely. Another thing that has never happened, especially while he's been at Clemson, he's been at Clemson a long time. Clemson has had some powerhouse teams. They potentially they've they've had a lot of success. They've you know they beat a lot of great teams, uh, and they had a lot of great quarterbacks, and they have had a lot of talent. Pushed a lot of guys to the NFL. He does a tremendous job at Clemson at Clemson of developing his guys. Now. With all the success he's had, I know last year was a down year. They still won 10 games. Say what you want about the Cheez-A Bowl. They won 10 games again. Uh, he's never had, you know, recruits come for official visits in June, which is, like, mind-boggling. So since he's been at Clemson, or since he's been a head coach at Clemson, he's never had recruits come for official visits in the month of June. And now this is going to be the first year ever that he is allowing recruits to come on this Clemson's campus and get a look at Clemson and, and, you know, be able to talk to, you know, different players, anything. So that is something that he has decided to change. I don't know why he's now allowing, you know, recruits to come for official visits in June. I don't know. I do think it's going to help him, you know, potentially get, if he could just get one recruit out, one recruit out of this, it's going to be good for the program. Now, obviously he's, he's won national championships doing it a different way. But now, this is another you know opportunity for him to to try to recruit and and sell Clemson to not just the athletes but the parents. I think now with the NIL and everything, I think you have to get to these recruits a lot quicker. Him waiting to him waiting you know a couple months down the line or a different time to try to communicate is gonna be a lot tougher now because money talks. Now I don't know I don't know if he's gonna be you know saying he if he's gonna be advocating for name, image, and likeness when he's talking to these recruits. But I imagine you know in South Carolina they have a lot of great boosters that will help this program be successful. And when you can have when you have the opportunity to talk to them in June, have them in the area in June where they can see the um, opportunities they have in place before they go visit another university like an Alabama or South Carolina. Well, South Carolina's not under the level. Or Georgia, you know, you know, college is close to, close to their campus. They will be in a lot better shape. And that's just a, the times of college football now. We're recruiting, and, and, is, and I'm kind of glad to see, you know, Dabo adjust to it, you know, because he has been a firm believer in staying true to what he wants. But, you know, to see this, I'm interested to see what comes of of him allowing recruits on visits in June.